Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about mowers or blowers. Join me after this. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Hey guys, so yeah, today I want to talk about mowers or blowers. So, how's this weather been, eh? What should we put away? Should we put the mowers away or put the blowers away? You know, I've still got both easily accessible to me at the moment, but I want to put one of them out the way, so uh, make a bit more space. But the way the weather's been, you just don't know what to do. So, I thought I'd have a discussion on the different types of mowers and also the different types of blowers out there. So, here we go. Let's have a start. This is what I first started cutting grass with when I was a little bitty boy. So, yeah, mum wouldn't let me use the gas uh, mower because I couldn't start it to begin with and neither could she and dad was at work. So... Um, I had the the good experience of using a push along mower, the old uh, cylinder mower, real mower. Um, yeah, lots of strength went into pushing that and pulling it back and pushing it, especially if that grass was a little bit long or wet. Um, yeah, it took a lot of effort to to do it, and yeah, it's not a nice thing to do, especially if you had a slight incline in your backyard it was uh, hard work uh, unless you did it all downhill so yeah you couldn't cut great big you know lawns with that it would take you forever but hey we had, we were i was fortunate we only had a small lawn so it didn't take too long to do um but yeah that's what i started off with now these you can still buy they're around 80 bucks, so a cheap end of the market. Um, but if you've only got a small garden, lots of people use these, chuck them in the back of the car. If they're going, you know, over to the grave or something like that, they can keep the grass nice and tidy. They can use that with them at the cemeteries or, you know, they go around and help your mum cut the grass. You've got a mower there. Um, it doesn't cost anything, obviously, after your initial outlay. You've got no gas, no electricity to it. So apart from sharpening the blades every so often, there's really no no outlay on them once you've bought them. So they're a good option. So what's next? Well, after that comes battery power. So... Yeah, so we've got battery mowers out there. Who would have thunk it, eh? So, big, powerful battery mowers. I don't know how long they last before you have to recharge them again. Never had a battery mower, so I'm not aware of how long they last. But, hey, they've got to be a good option. So, lots of people buying them. I've seen them flying out the stores. Um, but I have the, I went with, well, the bat price on those, um, the battery mowers, I've seen, I uh, took all these prices from like Home Depot, places like that, um, and they come out at around 329 bucks upwards, so... The cheapest one I could see the battery operated was 329 Not particularly this model, um, but a, a battery operated mower was at that price. Next up is the gas ones. So let's have a look at a gas mower. Now gas mowers, I've got one of these myself. Um, works great. Um, starts up, it's got, you know easy enough and so you've got the grass box on the back so you can collect all your grass cuttings 
to tip away so they're not going all over your lawn and uh, yeah they're pretty straightforward as I say we only have a small small patch at the front and about double the size at the back so not a large garden as such so it's easy enough for us now if you had a larger garden now these are sorry getting back to price wise um, these ones will run you in at the gas for a one stage one is probably around 270 bucks um, upwards so obviously depending on what type you have if you have the ones that you know if you have to push it then that's cheaper than if you have one that's um, self rolling so uh, although you do have to be careful if you ever let them go um, hopefully they'll stop otherwise you'll be chasing it over the hill and far away uh, <laughs> or until the first fence it comes to so yeah so you've got um, the gas ones there uh, next off you gonna have luxury so you want a bit of luxury how about a ride on there we go that's a nice ride on for you so yeah you can sit down and drive around to your heart's content cutting the lawn how about that obviously a bit dearer I haven't got a price on on these but uh, a bit dearer I know some you can get ride ons um, what would they ride ons from about 800 bucks not this particular one but yeah from around 800 bucks for a ride on upwards and they go up to you know up to 8,000 or even more so this one you know if you've got a large lawn obviously you need it you can't keep pushing up and down all day long it'll take you forever so a nice ride on and you can do it in a bit of comfort So if you didn't want to push it all up and down, side and side, you don't want to ride on a tractor to cut your grass, well, there is always another option. Welcome to the robot. There we go. So you can have your very own robot cut your grass for you. How about that? In this day and age, we can actually have a robot cut our grass similar to the, mo the uh, hoovers that you got in the house um, robotic uh, hoovers we've actually got one um, you've got the robotic mower so I don't know how good they are if someone's got one why don't you drop me a line let me know how good they are but you know people use them they seem to work okay as long as the grass isn't too long uh, for them to go they seem to do quite well and they come in the robots though are around 800 bucks I didn't see any cheaper from the sites I looked at around 800 bucks so would you rather that for 800 bucks or that for 800 bucks you know as I said the ride on isn't exactly the same uh, as that one but similar is a ride on uh, I think I know which I would prefer so yeah as long as you've got a big enough garden for it to work in so on to blowers so what do we use for clearing all that snow? Is it manual with a shovel? Or do we actually use a snowblower? Well, I've had one of these. It's an electric snowblower. They're okay. Um, they're lightweight. But you are governed by the length of your cord because obviously it has to be plugged in um, there is no worry about power running out or anything like that unless you haven't paid your electric bill of course but as long as your cable reaches the 
outer extremities of your garden you're okay so it may mean changing plugs out outlets you know if you've got several on the outside of the house front to back or whatever um, we've got a really long extension lead we can plug into but that causes other problems because you don't want to run over it because sometimes snow will cover over your electric lead and then yeah um, fun and games so you do have to be careful about not tripping yourself up with the leads and not running over it and obviously they're a bit narrower as well the electric uh, snow blowers so they're not as wide as the big snow blowers so therefore you have to make that much more passes each time you're doing it so it does take you longer um, not as long as with a shovel though so it is an improvement over a shovel that's for sure so what's the next option after that if we've got electric then we're gonna go for gas so here we go let's merge this over show you the gas machine so this uh, looks like someone's left a hammer on top of the gas machine that must be for hitting it <laughs> or breaking up large chunks of ice um, but yeah so I've got a two stage we used to have the electric snow blower I won't be without the two stage anymore it's got like three gears in reverse six gears in forward it's a godsend you know when we have big snow it's out there and it just powers through it so really really good remember the first year i got it i was out um, doing the sidewalk i thought i'd be kind and do the whole sidewalk my neighbors included as i had this brand new machine and my neighbor was on the opposite side of the street doing his sidewalk and we decided to have a battle of the wars and uh, see who could throw the snow the furthest <laughs> where well, he reached to just short of the curb on my side so it did go all the way across the road from his sidewalk all the way across the road and landed on my side of the street in the road and my one went all the way across the road and dumped it all back on his sidewalk again <laughs> yeah so it, i had a better range on my one and uh, it was great so we had a good laugh and uh, he had to do his sidewalk all over again so that'll teach him um, so yeah so these run at uh, so for a start the electric snow blowers they come in around 150 bucks the um, gas snow blowers you're looking at 400 and up and the battery snow blowers because they do do them are around 450 and up so you know you can have battery or you can have gas around the same price i think i'd prefer gas um they just have more pushing power i believe um you know with a gas engine going or there's always this alternative so just like the ride on mower you can have a ride on blower there we go um it's like a little snow cat it's uh you d you can get some with tracks as well as opposed to the wheels and yeah so if you've got a large area i can see this being advantageous for companies with big car parks or you know shopping malls with the big car parks even big churches you know having something like this in their arsenal to help clear the snow on those snow days um, will be a lot of fun and it will get the work done quickly you've even got a big tailgate on the back there for you know your ice melt and stuff like that so um, I don't know the price of these um, literally just found this 
before doing the video so I haven't worked got a price for this one but you know hey maybe someone can tell me how much these go for um, I expect you can you know some of these you can take the front attachments off put a plow on or something like that or even you know some of these ride on mowers you can put a snow blowing attachment on the front so uh, I know I sold a house a couple of years ago and that came with a tractor and the guy went and bought the snow blowing kit to go with it so yeah so um, why not so you got right on snow blower you got right on mower so what do you use let me know and uh, I look forward to hearing from you stay warm out there and uh, don't fall over in the ice Bye for now. If you got value from this content, don't forget to like the video. If you'd like to see more of the same, then subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future content. We'd love to hear from you, so leave a comment below with your thoughts or suggestions for any future videos. See you next time. Bye for now.